Hello friends, welcome back to Science Land. I'm Nikita and today I'm going to talk about biosafety. So, biosafety is protecting the biological organisms in a very simple layman language. Okay, this biosafety is important with respect to uh, GMOs. GMOs are genetically modified organisms. Now these GMOs have their genetic material altered such that they benefit to humans. But at the same time, we cannot deny the fact that GMOs can be unpredictable. Thus, it can represent a biohazard if it is escaped from a particular lab. So, here is where biosafety comes into picture. Now, initially, the scientists were very concerned about these GMOs. So, in 1975, the first biosafety guidelines were made so as to, you know, safety of the environment and people who actually conduct the experiment. Therefore, from 1975 till date, like 42 years, the subsequent research proved that if a particular GMO experiment is conducted with proper safety measures and risk assessment. So, If these two factors are taken into consideration, uh, the research regarding, you know, genetic engineering is very much safe. In India, when we talk about biosafety, there is one such rule which needs to be applicable, which is So, rules 1989, it also has another long name but this is very important now this rules 1989 has been laid down by uh, ministry of environment and forest uh, there are six authorities you know under rules 1989 which has particular responsibility given such that whenever an institute conducts a genetic based experiment uh, they make sure that you know certain rules and regulations are followed and thus it will be very safe to the surroundings and to the people in the lab okay so the six authorities are RDAC, which is Recombinant DNA Advisory Committee. You know, since 1975, the principles, there is a lot of research, new things have come up in genetic engineering. So, accordingly, this authority advises to improve further rules and regulations. The second authority is IBSC, which is Institutional Biosafety Committee. This authority is a nodal point between an institute and the government. So, uh, you know, this particular authority is present in every research institute. It consists of few scientists and they keep a check on whatever the experiments are going on regarding to GMOs or basic genetic experiments. So they will uh, review and report the status of the ongoing experiments to the further committee.
The third authority is RCGM, which is Review Committee for Genetic Manipulation. So what it does is, whatever reports are given by IBSC, they are given to this authority and it will review the overall experiment such that they will you know pass the documentation file of that experiment further why the file is given to rcgm uh, ibsc gives that particular documentation file to rcgm because uh, based on whatever documents ibsc has provided rcgm will provide the trial permit so on that level this authority is very important The next authority is GEAC, which is Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee. Now, why this committee is important? Because whatever uh, trial permits are given by RCGM, these experiments are conducted. And if they are successful, if they are, you know, safe for the environment, GEAC would give further permission to, you know, either it can be a commercial production of a GMO or they can test a GMO on a large scale. The next is SBCC and DLC. Uh, SBCC is State Biotechnology coordination committee and dlc is district level committee so what these does is uh, it will review the same experiment at their particular level whenever the file reaches to them they will yet yeah, like there is always a second opinion kind of stuff so they cross check all the reports they review them they coordinate with other authorities and so basically they inspect and monitor the experiment. So that was regarding biosafety in India. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.